election in one state or in one local government will not declare that, okay, because the total number of registered voters in that state, you have declared result in 35 states. For example, let's say party A, hypothetical, I'm an hypothetical, party A that is leading is leading with 18 million votes. And party B that is following value legislation, you know, litigations. What nuisance value? No, I'm saying that. What if I, you know, I, I hear what you're saying that, look, it seems like, quite frankly, we can't expect INEC to call it anyway, but that, but, but than the direction it is looking right Uncle now. Yori? But they are saying, don't need to rush. We shall get there one step before the other. How would it be possible for us to be having an election inconclusive? What are the factors that led to that election not being held? That's, in that's that, that, that there. And this is an off cycle election. These are therefore the questions. It's an off cycle election. And if we cannot conduct the election in 21 local governments, most of the off cycle election we have had, we have had cause to add supplementary elections. We have supplementary elections in Ocean State. Supplementary election. Supplementary election in Kano in 2019. Supplementary election. We saw what happened with those supplementary elections. We saw what happened. So the, the, the bottom line is that people should not, the, those that came up with representative democracy, people shouldn't know when I'm voting and you are voting. I shouldn't know the outcome of the result until the result is declared. Now, those that are going to vote in Yala, mm. they are, it's only with them because you have declared result. Mm. Every one of us should go to the poll at the same time and vote. Mm. So that section of that electorate should be thrown away because you have, this, you have defeated the purpose of, 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 of people going to poll on the same time, same day, that you are now having supplementary election. Well, 140,000. So it's possible for me to claim that to have 140,000 uh, voters turn out in in, in, in election in Nambra State that over the years you have fifteen percent, twenty two percent in the last election. In twenty in twenty in twenty thirteen it was seventeen percent. So what are, well, what, are what, what are we saying? We shouldn't you know, be we shouldn't we, be I next shouldn't be eating up the polity. Okay. W one moment I just wanted to say that we're you know we we, we also hope to be hearing from uh Anambra. Um we, we we got a number of lines open into uh, Anambra. First of all there's Uchio Koro, you know, and um We'll open up the phones uh, pending then. It just might be that somebody has something to report. Uh, did I hear that uh, Mazi Okorafo is actually on the line? Good morning, Mazi. Good morning, okay. Sir, Yuri. Good morning. Uh, welcome to the new week. Yeah, I indeed. Thank God that uh, all the prophecies of uh, bad ones did not work. We thank God for those who that prophesied good for Anambra State. We thank God for the prayers of Nigerian Short. I thank the TVC. Honestly speaking, sir, Yuri, the let uh, th there is no need that when somebody dies, people start going to the grave and start praising the person. It is when somebody is alive, praise that person. Honestly, I thank the TV who have done a very nice job, please, for bringing that program live on all Nigerians. Now, there is a lesson we have to learn because based on what you have shown on TV live from Anambra State, before, during, and still going on. Government and elites in Anambra State will find a lasting solution and engage the youth. It is not the election has come and finished. No. The youth government should engage them. They within the eastern Nigeria have been bastardized. So we start from Anambra State. Now I'm telling on the government, it didn't come in to do the government. All the pensioners, they should tell the other governors in other eastern Nigeria, pay the pensioners so that all these pensioners will take their money and engage these their children in meaningful venture, pay their school fees. Because most of these students, their parents are already at home. They depend on that pension. When the pension is not coming, you see the students go anywhere, anywhere you see they engage them. They take and all this issue of drugs, 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 there is no action that happens anywhere okay. without seeing those guys engaging themselves with all these hard drugs. All right. All right, Ma Mazi. Wherever they are, the people should try. And these people who manufacture those things, who sell those things, they should monitor this because now, statistics have shown that all these crises, crises we see everywhere, those people are always on hard drugs. Okay, then. So, Thank you very much, Mazi. We I really appreciate your calling in. I thank the video, I thank the, the uh, for, uh, Kuka, Bishop Kuka and the rest. Indeed, the rest. indeed. And everybody, especially you, this uh, the DBC for you, Plan Pride. I'm just begging on Nigerian government, Soludo, at least you are an uh, uh, international guru. Bring it. Thank you very much, uh, Mazi Okorafo. Ever regular caller and valuable one at that. Uh, calling in from Aruchuku in Imo State. So he's going back to, you know, the, the origins, uh, as he sees it, of um, there being actual takers in, in confusion 
messages, you know, people taking up, just being invited to come join in creating mayhem, whether you want to call it brainwashing or whatever, indoctrination. Uh, and these people buy it and then become what we had until, as you know, at the last... We needed to be trashed out is when the INEC Act was being made. INEC is acting, I mean, it's doing what it's doing because of the laws it is operating with. So it will not be easy for them to throw the law away. Otherwise, one candidate will come up tomorrow and, and uh, point at that gap, and then the court, before you know it, the court will notify the election. I think that is what INEC is uh, trying to uh, prevent, to fulfill all righteousness. Yes. It's obvious that uh, Chukuma Toludo is, uh, is, has already won that election. But what I really want to say on Kiyori on this matter is concerning the Southeast governors. When it comes to elections that will benefit them, they will go and pacify Nambikanu to allow elections to take place. After the elections, they will not care about the security of the ordinary man in the street in the Southeast. Yeah. Professor Chukuma Soludo is known for drastic decision making. When he comes in, I will advise him not to join the camp of the, the attitude that his governors are exhibiting in terms of security. He should make the change. He should be the change. Let there be peace in the Southeast and not political brigandry. People just uh, use the lives of other people to achieve their own political gains. Immediately they achieve it, nothing more. I stand to be corrected. All right. Good morning, Uncle. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, uh, you know, well, so, well, you know, I was trying to suggest, you know, when you were making the point, uh, important as it is, that INEC probably is covering all the bases. Yeah, and because that's what the electoral act is. But yes. I'm saying that that section of that electoral act contravenes the Constitution. And when there is a conflict of a law with the Constitution, the Constitution is supreme. The Constitution is explicit as how to declare. I'm just saying this, looking future, creating a scenario construction, that in the future, if we have a situation whereby um, we have presidential election results, and then we have had the elections, and we are not able to declare the result because elections were not held either in two local government or six local government, or in one state or two states of the Federation, as a result of that, um, we can't declare the result of a presidential election. We leave it at the state of Comatos. Well, what my, one of the major takeout for me from this. I beg your pardon. Uh, good, morning. good morning. Charles, Charles has come online. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Charles, go ahead, please. I uh, want to make. Yeah, good morning, Mr. Yomi. Good morning, sir. I really want to make my contribution. Okay. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, I am not really happy with uh, what INEC is doing. Yeah. Yeah, I am not happy with INEC. I uh, don't see like my gentleman that is speaking here with you. I'm of opinion that Soludo, that Soludo should be declared the winner immediately because, because they are looking for a situation how to rig this election. So I am not happy for to wait anymore. By so doing, yeah, by so doing, you will see that they will create an avenue. So there is a leap forward to reach the election. I am not happy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, that, that's your impression, but um, it's, a, it's a pathetical situation, I would think. And um, look, the security is still on ground, but um, we'd like to hear all, you know, everybody's point of view, and that is uh, yours, uh, that... Look, not calling it immediately could give room for, you know, uh, untoward uh, sort of um, uh, eventuality. Uh, let's, let's keep our eye on the sparrow, so to speak, and um, the security is still very much in, the, in place. The organization is there and all of that. Let's just um, uh, watch it. Let's just wait for it. 
um, we, we should be able to get hold of um, one of the uh, participants in that election. Um, and uh, as soon as that is possible, they'll let us know. Um, but going through these processes, otherwise we would have been talking about the new governor designate. But we can't do that because we, we, we have to wait. A winner has not been declared. A winner, winner hasn't has been, been declared. And we shouldn't be putting ourselves through this. This is this. resources this will be state resources mm -hmm. again be deployed on Tuesday tomorrow for that uh, for that um, supplementary supplementary election. Now the process is corrupted, corrupted in the sense that those that are going to vote already they, know they know the lie of the ground. They, 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 already they shouldn't know. That's and, what. And, and that's I, what. That's, that's what. Is, you, you shouldn't they, know. They, they, they you shouldn't know. know. We when we are going to vote on that it's, day, it's we should vote simultaneously, and then the outcome will come once we, and for all. So, so if we could not put him took place in Iyala, and then Iyala seems to have gotten a reputation for because that was where they took the mm. former governor to, and the last time that the governor was allegedly okay. kidnapped and uh, was taken uh, to swear uh, and put in. So is, seems uh, seems to have then governor Dr. Chris Ngigi. We are governor Chris Ngigi, and then. Um, the candidate of the APC in this election and his brother were allegedly involved in in those in do, in that in that particular conspiracy. But why I'm saying this because it will get to a stage. This law if we extend it to national election, so. a so. high stake election. You That's where we know the implication. You we extrapolated the situation it, it, and see that look, this is a clear it's, it's a, danger. It's, it's a danger because the constitution is clear, okay. section one seventy nine, on how to declare somebody as governor. So the other one that we have in there is an extra, extra, extra <laughs> uh, provisions act of parliament, which anything and lawyers are on ground. Anything that runs contrary to the Constitution is ultra bias, is of no okay. effect. Reverend Dominic is uh, joining us now. Good morning, Mr. Uh, Reverend Dominic. Good morning, Yori. Good morning, Dr. Johnson. Can you hear me, Yori? So, uh, Reverend, what, what's your take, um, what's your assessment of the election? Everything went fine, as expected. Or well, well, this is what you call in the peace of graveyard. Yore, I, let me say this first. The politicians can rejoice for this election, but if democracy is a rule of the majority, it seems to me here, Yore, that minority have elected a governor. Let me use that word. Because uh, they actually, have 2.5 million uh, voters. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, we can you hear me? Uh, uh, no, it's not Hello, can and can you hear myself? Ah, can, ah, I, can you hear you. me? Good morning. Yes, go ahead now, please, Reverend. Okay. I'm saying a state that has 2.5 voters, million voters. Yes. And over less than 250,000 people elected a governor. I can't just understand that kind of election we are talking about. If you can hear me. We can hear you loud and clear. Okay. The, the, the politicians can celebrate it. But we, we want to mourn this election by every you know, sense of responsibility. Number two, what Dr. Johnson is saying is true. But, but I believe the INEC is running away from this almighty court. Remember there was a lesson in my state, a senator from my state, who is in Senate now, not just a culture. He put a gun on the head of the certain officer. And the INEC rejected that res re re result. But when they went to court, the court, almighty court said that whether you put gun on somebody's head or not, as long as it's not written down, Immediately the results announced results, whatever means, by crook or by hook, the results start. So I support INEC by playing a to the textbook. By my constitution, Toluca has won the election. I know you have won already, but this election doesn't give me joy. We had less than 250,000 people in a big state like Anambra is electing a governor. It's something to chew, and if we chew it, it will not be sweet in our tongue. Thank you, and God bless you. Indeed. Thank you very much, um, Reverend Dominic. But we had the election, and by all accounts, it's, 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 it's been concluded uh, well. All but, all but concluded. One more day to go on Tuesday, which is a problem. And uh, Dr. Johnson, you know, uh, we, it, it, that, that is not amused by that. We'll go on a quick break. Okay. Uh, and then when we come back, Dr. Johnson, you please continue. Uh, stay with us, please. We'll be right back. <laughs> Bye.
5 million deaths globally per year. On the 16th, the world marks International Day for Tolerance. And on the 17th, International Students Day will be marked. 19th is for the male gender on International Men's Day. And on the 25th, efforts to end gender-based violence take center stage as the world marks International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. Stay with TBC News. Information is power. Information is security. Information is knowledge. On Label Lens, we believe that working people around the world have real questions of their own. They want to know how the world of work operates, what it means to the employer of labor, how policies affect workers in the workplace. On Label Lens, I am sure we engage private sector and government to get out of them information workers are in need of. I am Sharon Jackson asking questions that make you get sense of the workplace. Okay, uh, welcome back. And uh, Ada, in the meantime, has come on the line. Good morning, Ada in Joss. Oh, yes, Ada in Joss. Uh, Ada in Joss. Uh, good morning, Mr. Jerry. Good morning, Dr. Johnson. Thank Let you, me tell you something. Ada. Yes. The, the, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. The election, that election, the turnout was impressive if you consider the circumstances surrounding it, as far as I'm concerned. You forget about all these uh, uh, professors of doing that in, in the face of uh, uh, a problem like that. They cannot give us a message of hope. That is, a pastor is supposed to give us, give us a message of who. Let me tell you something. Anambra has always had the lowest, the least, when it comes to elections in the first instance. They're not to talk of this one that had a lot of multiple problems. So I commend them with all the militarization and everything. Then I, I commend the, I commend the, 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 the security personnel too. At least from the extent, like 97%, they performed very well. They were non-partisan, and I hope it will continue tomorrow. Then my problem is the uh, okay. I commend also the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Buhari, for not wanting to interfere in it. Okay. Then again, INEC has a lot of problems. They have a lot of shortcomings. I must say, especially as regards the logistics and the 60 percent failure of the being vast equipment, you know, mm -hmm. device. If mm. they had gotten that right, even if they deployed late and those things were working the way it, it should work, because the places where it works, it worked very fine. We have this problem of uh, the election being uh, I mean, uh, inconclusive in the first instance. So I, I agree with your Dr. Johnson, you know. It's, it's, all, it's all right. They should do something. I, I, for instance, uh, when it comes to uh, the transportation, let them stop relying on this, uh, uh, this Nigerian road transport, whatever, whatever. Let them use the federal government and the uh, uh, state uh, vehicles during the election. Since, since, since it is, it's usually uh, going with the federal this one that is off season. Why should they be relying on those people that are always uh, disappointing them? Then the divas, they, they should have had a, a, a kind of a, a plan B. Maybe they would have done it alongside with the car dealer. They shouldn't have discarded it. Okay. Provided they don't, they don't factor in the incident form, you know? If, 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 if they, if, I okay. must come. I saw very old people, 80 years and above, stay there from morning to evening. Eh? What yeah. is that? Why should, yeah. be, why should the electors be there? Exactly. I'd I like to, to, to live up to his responsibility. God bless you. Let's not give up on this country. All right, then. Thank you very much for Please. calling in, um, Ada. I, I think... Um, I'm being told that, um, do we have a connection now? Do we? Okay, I, 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 uh, I believe that we do have uh, a connection now. We, um, we have the candidate of the Accord Party, you know, in Anambra, Dr. Godwin Maduka. Dr. Maduka is a Nigerian-American, American-Nigerian uh, doctor, medical doctor. But more importantly for us here, he is candidate of the uh, Accord Party. So good morning to you, uh, Dr. Maduka, and thank you very much for making time for us. Give us, good morning. Yes. Give us your assessment, if you will, of um, the election so far. You know, we still have the supplementary one to go. Well, I mean, um, uh, we had the issues with the uh, capturing uh, before the voting. I mean, uh, in my area, and uh, I think this is statewide, and many people uh, that 
had been waiting from morning to evening, and the machine, the virus machine, could not capture them, and they have to go home. This is all over the place, makes it not a perfect election and the voting situation that we had wanted. Okay. Um, what, what, as you know, the election will be, shall we say, concluded tomorrow uh, with Ihiala now, you know, getting the vote, so to speak. Um, considering that, um, well, you know, you lost in your local government area, Orumba South, does, do, is, does that mean anything to you? That the fact that the election hasn't been concluded yet. Well, you know, uh, when you see the election process in Nigeria, this is my first time getting involved with it. There's so many uh, factors involved. I'm hoping there will be a day in history that our people will vote. Uh, according to what they know and according to what they believe. So uh, this is a election process that somebody uh, can just show up and from one uh, encouragement or the other, whether it's the monetary or, or religious or whatever, and then the people will, will follow. Uh, we're seeing what is happening now. The Apple guys seem to be leading everywhere. Um, I guess we'll still keep waiting and be able to analyze this fully after they declare whoever is the candidate. Yeah. But I need to caution whoever is the winner. I need to caution people. Uh, it's not over yet because there's check and balances in here that you declare the winner does not mean that you're going to uh, be the governor. Uh, most of these inconsistencies we've seen uh, might end up in court. I mean, uh, so many lawsuits already out there uh, waiting for uh, the conclusion of the election. Mm. Okay. In summary, I'm saying that this is not a perfect condition. This is not what I had hoped for. I would have wanted a place where everybody votes and uh, uh, people don't have to be turned back to go home Yeah, because of the machine not working. Mm. Yeah. Um, uh, because we're speaking with you, I mean, it could have been anybody, but um, the, the fact that, um, what, what, what do you think was responsible for you not being able to carry your own local government area? I mean, that's, that's where you're known the most. And um, say uh, was that it's not over till it's over, which was a sentiment that sort of surprised me a bit again. Well, you know Nigerian politicians, they will go to court. Will not yeah, because he, he even, even said even, it. He, he even said it that... There are many litigations awaiting ah, the ah. outcome of this particular election. This but I just want to pick up from where I just stopped um, with respect to, and then in line with them, um, what Reverend Dominic spoke about. Oh, oh uh, the, Dr. Maduka is back. Okay. Uh, well, Dr. Maduka, before we lost the connection, uh, I had asked you what you thought was responsible for, you know, not, not winning your own uh, Orumba South local government area. Um, Ooh, is it that they don't know you enough in your area? That uh, at least if nobody has believed in, uh, in this kind of, uh, if nobody has believed in what I can offer, and Ambra State, my hometown, believed in it. Now, I sat there, I can't be everywhere. Uh, they might get the message the right. But then there's other circumstances that will uh, change uh, what they believe in. I believe that people that are qualified to run, people like me that have an antecedent, both locally and internationally, uh, that I have a lot to bring to the table. We haven't matured to that level where we will vote the right person in and without looking at the uh, monetary value okay. or other type of uh, uh, circumstances that will make them not vote for what they believe in. So okay. I think as a, demo as, a, as a society, we are not yet in the democracy being enjoyed all over the world. 
other police places, the people will come out and show what they can do, and the people will look at the, the candidates and see the future, what the candidate can do, but not in Nigeria. Nigeria, there are so many factors. Okay, there are so many factors. Money. Make you know uh, win an election, doc, doc, even when people know that you're the right man for the job. Okay. So, if I'm sure you know about that, then well, election I, is not a clean process <laughs> in Nigeria yet. Yeah, uh, well, what I do know is that, uh, well, election is a straightforward process. You cast your vote, they count it later, and INEC tells us who got the most votes. Uh, that's being at the very rudimentary, elementary aspect to it all. But you, were, you just you know, uh, spun off a number of factors. You included monetary. Uh, you, you are no poor man yourself, doctor. Uh, for those who are interested and go online to you know, investigate your net worth and all of that. I mean, we're dealing in multiples of millions of uh, dollars. Uh, is it, did you not come prepared uh, along the lines you were suggesting that, there are, that this is Nigeria? Okay, I can see what's going on. The connection seems to be going in and out, in and out. And so I don't even know if he heard my question. Um, but the doctor was, I don't think he was bemoaning. He was probably observing. Uh, so this is his first time of participating in the ele in election in Nigeria. The way we run election in Nigeria is different from the way they run election in the United States of America. Um, even though they are striking similarities, though, when it comes to... No, the um, similarities probably are, just are, are borrowing the system no, they are from striking, them. There are striking similarities. Uh, to people, people receiving... There's no way they don't give inducement. When you give water on the queue, when you go to carry people, when you help people to drop in their mailing votes, those are... That is one thing, Dr. <laughs> Johnson. Then me standing at a gate somewhere with a wad of money in my hand, and maybe having a compl an accomplice with, with something. We saw people you go coming out, you're in, getting in New York, we saw people being paid <laughs> to protest, to protest for Nigeria, against Nigeria, and they were being paid inside a restaurant. But, you see, but that was not when an we election. talk about corruption, it's not, it's not a Yoruba word, it's not an Igbo word. It's not, <laughs> then when you talk about rigging, rigging is not an African word. It's an English word. So if it does not exist in, what does not exist in your culture, does yes. not exist in your language. Mm -hmm. What does not exist in your culture, mm -hmm. does not exist in your language. <laughs> but the bottom line is that they have minimized, they have minimized their, their home. But going to through the education, thing, yeah, through, through going to the refinement, which, to, which I think, who, who was the person who first of all complained that this is where we should go and... Yeah, voters' education, because we we'll yes. talk about the voters' uh, turnout. Yes. If you look at the turnout of voting in Anambra State, people should not forget that. There are a lot of people uh, that are registered in Anambra that are not living in Anambra. Okay, we're going to have to make room for the doctor. He's back. Okay. We're, we're being guided by, you know, the waves of, you know, outages. And so, doctor, uh, you're, you're back. I was asking, uh, you said this is your first experience with the political, you know, an ex exercise in Nigeria. Uh, is that to say you didn't come prepared for the Nigerian way of doing things, whatever you want to read into that. After all, they have said that, uh, what, is it politics? So they say politics is, uh, you know, uh, it might be global, but you might think have to think global, uh, globally about it, but you are going to act local. Did you think you were fully prepared, or has this also been a learning experience? And this is even without prejudice to what you said about um, uh, the election coming on tomorrow. But I, I doubt that um, we have connection with Dr. Maduka, unfortunately, uh, because that uh, appeared to be a frozen uh, picture. Uh, well, so, uh, Dr. Maduka, I, I just want to thank you for having made the effort to come on. Unfortunately, there's a problem of, I don't know if the right word is bandwidth, but I can say the connection between us is not as stable uh, as we have had. Uh, are you hearing me, Doctor? I just looked at your expression and wondered if you were hearing me. No, it doesn't look like so. So look, even though you can't hear even this, I'm going to have to thank uh, Dr. Uh, Godwin Maduka, uh, the candidate of the Accord Party in this uh, Anambra governorship election. Um, it hasn't gone the way any of the what? Uh, how many parties uh, were in that election? 18 of them or so? Uh, where That's another area that we need yes, to look into. Yes, uh, because... People that are wasting the resources. Only three, four, 
That's three the, foreigners came up in that yeah, election. We're the looking at Abga. Ballot, Indeed. ballot papers with 18 parties. And exactly. Yeah. Um, now, Ab Abga, Abga, Einek has called 18 local governments for uh, Abga. And um, YD, YD, YPP and PDP, they've just accounted for one each. And then that now leaves 15 other parties to bring to the point that you were saying that, look. But you see, it's, it's all about the fundamental right to participate. And um, Einek, you know that there are people that are there are people who will get up and protest everybody's right. Never mind what you think. Let the electorate decide if I meet all the criteria. Uh, yeah, you know we've gone through all of this. There are two every law. People were always exploited. I can decide to come and foment trouble if I'm contesting against you in your strong old to ensure that the election in your stronghold is cancelled. And it's well, yeah, that's a, that's is, a tactic. Uh, it's a tactic. So, so for that's me, you should just stick with the constitutional provisions. Well, you're right. Of, it's a tactic. Of, just of, as of section the filibuster, the, 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 the filibuster, the, for example, is also a tactic. tactic is, uh, yeah, you know, I, I, and uh, I'm standing and I'm, uh, I'm talking in the house until exactly. I stop. Exactly. Uh, Louis, uh, good morning, Louis, in uh, Anambra, I believe. Yeah, this is Louis, by the grace of God, an apostle and Christ ambassador. Okay. Calling from Enugu State. Enugu State. You're uh, very welcome. Go ahead, uh, please. Okay, I want to say this. Yes. I know it might sound so hard, but then we want Nigeria to be okay. Um, the um, people who are managing telecommunication in Nigeria, I think it is high time during the electoral election like this. Uh, if they mess up with, um, uh, you know, uh, 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 ways and other things, it shows that they are not helping the nation. It's high time all these heads of this uh, uh, telecommunication may be declared the terrorists if they fail to give up adequate services during the election periods in Nigeria because these things most of the time can be acted. People can devise a means of using this technology to you know add or subtract. Okay, I get what you're saying, Louis. You are actually su suggesting uh, ever so subtly that this could, uh, the, the failure of some of the gadgetry could have been as a result of sabotage. I think it's INEX. I, I, we should be able to have uh, cutting it right now. You see, election is an is a logistic and event planning. Now, when Ada raised an issue, why would INEC be using NLTW buses to move electoral materials? If you go to each state and each local government, why can't they deploy? But somebody will make money for hiring those buses. Somebody will make money. That's the that's the reality. Somebody, you know how much is voted for movement of electro, ele, election materials. Where in actual sense, in the states that you have in the election, there are a lot of state vehicles that are lying fallow for that. Why can't INEC partner with the states? For example, with the chief of staff of the state, the chief of staff or the head of service so that all state buses will be made available for INEC. In America, the electoral officer for state election is the secretary of state. Yeah, but they, uh, as you know, no, he's, he's the secretary. You know, so why should you, know, you, need, you need of the, your own You need to see fine. the buses they use to carry know, this electoral material. The Ketty buses, and if you look at the amount of money they vote for it, basic logistics, basic in, in an use an DHL, use all is, of that those logistic companies. A, you will deliver those materials. They say we want to deliver sensitive and insensitive. Every material in election is sensitive. How if about, I'm sending you how a package, intense or special. Yeah. Uh, how about the intense suspicion that INEC might have been looking to veer away from? Uh, you know, that is partnering with the state government. The, the ruling party, the, 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 state no, 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 the, the state government, is the ruling party is civil servant. I'm asking you. The ruling party is civil servant. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about the teachers they use for the election? What about the VC they are using to announce the result? Then I'm telling you, what about the VC there? They are using to announce the, the result. What about the people that they use I as electoral the officers point. and the rest because of them? Are they, are, they, are, they, are they not drawn from academic institutions? Are they not drawn from the civil service? Well. So it is believed that the civil service is neutral. I'm not saying they should take political appointees. There are vehicles. For example, if 
want to do election in Lagos State, now I never will go and hire buses from NRTW. How many blue buses does Lagos have? How many buses do we have in Alausa and all other agencies of government? And for us to assign those buses for those electoral buses without us voting money that we vote. It, it basic, basic logistics. In moving materials, said the materials got to the location. Voting has not started. Two well, PM it was in Ada, 2021. It was Ada who started the point. Ada and Joss who started the point that look, there's still some work for I for us to do. For them, for them and, to do. and then Lewis has also suggested that look, he's not entirely sure that those were just real failures. How, it, how would network fail on the day of the election? Now, that's the point. The election it, it, even today, that is not a day of election. Look at how, how much trouble we've had trying to talk with uh, Dr. Uh, Maduka. Maduka. And, and all, then we're having, uh, we're uh, having uh, challenges. Exactly. Talk, so if, if this were one of those crucial kind of well, things, it will be the same kind of a situation we that we're we Shouldn't we have a situation where electoral materials will be getting to location 4 p.m. on the day of the election? Somebody, this is the electoral officer of that local government should have been fired. Okay. The supervisor of that local government should have been fired. The the in fact that's 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 a threat to national security. Let's 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 pause and take Elder David who has called in from Alimosho. Good morning, Elder David. Elder David in Alimosho. Thank you, sir. Okay, sir. Go go ahead, please. Good good morning, Yori. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, go ahead, please. Yeah, the, ele the election in Anabra has come and gone. Yes, I agree. A winner has a match. A, has a match. Am I not correct? Uh, well, but a winner hasn't been announced the yet. The election continues tomorrow. I, uh, tomorrow. Ihiala. Ihiala. Election tomorrow, it's sir. Finished. It hasn't been concluded. Let us thank this government. This government has produced a system that nobody can ring again. Because the system that bring this government in is what they are following. Okay. Thank you very much, Elder David. Uh, uh, clearly, Elder David can't hear us, but, you know, not yet Uhuru, Elder David. Um, I understand what you're saying. INEC has at least declared that, what, 18 of the 20 councils have been won by a particular candidate, that of APGA, the ruling party there, um, but they haven't declared a winner, and there still is the conclusion of the election to go. Uh, by tomorrow at the um, uh, supplementary uh, uh, voting that will be organized for tomorrow. Uh, but El El Elder David, uh, I think he's going the commonsensical sort of way that, look, <laughs> you can't catch up with the, uh, the leading candidate right now. Uh, but still, there are processes among which we have uh, spoken about that INEC wanted to satisfy all righteousness and that you have you know, identified as a potential worry uh, later on. It could come back to bite us. Uh, uh, you fired, you fired at so the but, but from this election, we have seen that the people have owned the system. The ownership, one of the take home for me is the ownership of the system. Yes. That people could, in spite of the danger and circumstances, people still came out to vote and they were ready to ensure that their vote Indeed. counts and people were not interested in yes. collecting Never in, being the, in being induced based on some mm. of the things mm. which which we have seen. Never and when mind. people complain about voters turnout, yes. people should Never also understand these. the dynamics of Anambra. Governors came to campaign in Lagos. Have you ever seen any state where they do election that gubernatorial candidate will come to campaign in Ladipo? We go to Alaba Market. So majority of the people in Ladipo and Alaba Market, though they are registered in Anambra, they did not they can they didn't go back home to vote for that particular election. Okay. So we must understand the dynamics quite of a, each quite each a lot state of issues. But that, overall that, that, that boogie has been eaten. Exactly. That they, they, like they might, there might not be an election. No, and, that, and, um, and like Mazi said, the governor should pay the pensioners so that they can engage indeed. the Indeed. So that once they engage and the it was youth, the, crisis, or uh, or the crisis we have in the East will be reduced. Indeed. When we pay the pensioners, they take care of their children, they send them to school, and as a result of that, some of the crisis we are witnessing in the Southeast will not have that Southeast. Indeed. And I think if we do that, that was the point that uh, Mazi was making. I think Maz Mazi Okorafo is an educationist because he was pointing out that fix the kids, yeah. fix the educational system, then we'll have less of this kind of a problem as we go along. I want to thank you very much, uh, Dr. Jide Johnson, Chief Lecturer at NIJ. Thank you, as always, for coming on and it's giving us the benefit of your...
quality um, analysis and insights. And uh, also to thank all those who called in and to thank uh, Dr. Godwin Maduka, a court party governor candidate in this election, uh, who also said that um, it's not over till it's over. There still is tomorrow to go. Uh, we'll wait on tomorrow. Not that it will make any difference to you know, Dr. Maduka, or indeed anybody else's, uh, the way we've been looking at it, anybody else's chances, uh, but let's wait for INEC to call it. So that's our program. Please join us tomorrow for a fresh edition. I'm Yori Fularen. Bye-bye for now. Choose joyful time. Let's do this. Let's get this done. Heart thumping. Awe inspiring. Choose to get lit. Oh, to go for it. So nice. So nice. And your story. Choose everything. Choose joy. And enjoy every moment together with DSTV. The following is a paid presentation by ShopX TV. We love fried food. Tasty fried chicken, seasoned fried fish, french fries. But cooking fried food sometimes feels like going to war. Different cooking pans, hot oil spills, lots and lots of oil, meaning a calorie. And cleaning is a disaster. Scraping, what a chore. But not anymore. Introducing the new ShopX Power Air Fryer XL, the revolutionary kitchen miracle with one-touch technology. Our Power Air Fryer fries with superheated cyclonic air with little to no oil and up to 80% less fat. It does the job of your grill, oven and stovetop, all in one neat, compact and versatile device. The ShopX Power Air Fryer has seven quick-touch presets. Press for fries, press for pizza, press for chicken or press for fish. Just set it and walk away. Perfect French fries in 18 minutes. Delicious fried fish, 7 minutes. Crispy golden chicken, 20 minutes. Mixed spring rolls and samosa in just a few minutes. It's amazing. The secret is the rapid hot air technology. This superheated cyclonic air flows around your food quickly, creating a golden brown crispy outside while locking the moisture inside. It's so simple to use. The ShopX Power Air Fryer offers an all-in-one alternative to five different cooking methods. Air fry your food, grill juicy steaks and fish, bake delicious pizzas and desserts, saute onions and peppers, and roast a whole chicken that is so juicy on the inside. Air frying produces healthier fried foods than other traditional frying methods. Look, almost 15% of oil is absorbed into chips when frying, but with the ShopX Power Air Fryer, only 0.0025% of oil is absorbed. Plus, the fry basket has specially designed vents for all that fat and grease to drain away into the container below. Plus, your Power Air Fryer basket cleans with ease. Discover how quickly and easily you can cook with the 5-in-1 ShopX Power Air Fryer. It's cleaner and healthier than traditional deep fry methods and will transform the cooking experience for the entire family. Incredible! With over a million units sold worldwide, the ShopX Power Air Fryer is taking the industry by storm and is now available in Nigeria exclusively from ShopX TV. Call the number on the screen now or visit our website at shopxtv.com and get the ShopX Power Air Fryer for just 76,945 Naira only. But wait! Every day is Black Friday this November at ShopX TV. So, order now and get the ShopX TV Power Air Fryer for just 69,251 Naira. That's 10% off. Amazing. But hurry, this exclusive ShopX TV offer is for a limited period only. So call now while stocks last. ShopX TV are proud to be the exclusive distributors of the Power Air Fryer products across West Africa. The proceeding was brought to you by ShopX TV. TVC Communications, Nigeria's leading independent broadcast company, has been officially designated as a great place to work. Over the past three years,